Women with nephrotic syndrome during pregnancy. Women with nephrotic syndrome should consider carefully before becoming pregnant. Because the kidneys in pregnancy can progress to more severe and cause more dangerous complications during pregnancy. Changes in the urinary system during pregnancy. Kidney size increases in pregnancy. In particular, the length of the kidneys increases by about 1 cm compared to before pregnancy. The size of the kidneys will return to normal after birth. Dilation of kidney and ureter. Because of fluid retention due to urinary tract obstruction. This fluid retention is usually mild and it is dilation of kidney and ureter physiology during pregnancy. However, the stagnation of urine creates favorable conditions for urinary infections and progresses to severe pyelonephritis. Renal blood flow and glomerular filtration rate in pregnant women increased by 40% compared to normal. Moreover, these flows increase quite early, right from the first months of pregnancy. However, this increase in glomerular filtration rate will increase the discharge of waste products. Since then, blood creatinine levels decreased by 35 to 44 percent compared to normal values. At the same time, reduce blood albumin concentration, reduce blood urea and reduce osmotic pressure of plasma. The amount of water increased about 6 to 9 liters, of which water is mainly in the extracellular compartment, about 4 to 6 liters. During pregnancy plasma volume almost doubled and edema is a normal phenomenon. Women with nephrotic syndrome during pregnancy. Patients with pre-existing kidney disease should consider before becoming pregnant because the disease causes many dangerous complications in pregnancy. During pregnancy, the disease will get worse and increase the risk of toxicity, infection, preeclampsia, hypertension, miscarriage, premature birth. The effects of each form of kidney disease on pregnancy areas follows, primary nephrotic syndrome. When the patient completely recovered over six months and kidney function returned to normal. Or just type 1 kidney failure can still have a normal pregnancy. When the disease progression is not positive and the patient has kidney failure level 2 or higher, pregnancy is not recommended. Chronic renal failure. Pregnancy will greatly affect the course of the disease and pregnant women may experience dangerous complications. In chronic renal failure, many experts recommend being able to get pregnant when chronic kidney failure is in stages I and II. But must monitor and treat very closely. When patients with end-stage renal failure stage 2, they should not become pregnant. Acute glomerulonephritis. Patients can still have normal pregnancies, but need close monitoring and attention control weight, blood pressure and proteinuria. So, be extremely cautious when pregnant and contact a specialist for advice. Diet for women with nephrotic syndrome during pregnancy. The amount of water taken into the body depends on the extent of frenal excretion, depending on the stage of disease progression. Usually from 1.5 to 2 liters per day, including water, milk, broth, soup, fruit. Pregnant women with kidney disease should eat as little as possible, reducing spices when tasting. Protein-rich foods such as lean meat, fish, shrimp, eggs, milk, tofu, should be eaten in moderation according to the doctor's advice. Sea fish should be boiled then remove boiled water to reduce salt. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables and do not drink a lot of vegetable broth. Limit foods high in salt such as pickles, tomato paste, fish sauce, dried fish, sausages, bacon, canned foods, and rolls, etc. In short, pregnant women with kidney disease should be carefully checked during pregnancy, to prevent dangerous complications that kidney disease can cause to the fetus. In particular, how to reverse kidney disease naturally and safely for pregnant women, free trial for two months. Link in description. Thank for watching. Don't forget like, share and subscribe to watch new videos. Wish you and family peace.